As far as nuclear is concerned, in this country, us, we need a shield because Russia is unstable. A strategic North Korea defense is unstable. initiative. We need a missile defense shield. And if we don't have one, and if we don't start developing, and now, you know, people used to criticize Reagan. The fact is now it's very developable. And we need a shield. If you want to build this strategic defense shield to prevent against missiles, you have to go ahead and negotiate with the Russians a change in the 1972 ABM, the Anti-Ballistic Missile Treaty. What if the Russians say no, no can do? Well, look, you just said it. A change in 1972. A, a treaty that was made in 1972, who knew what was going to happen in terms of technology? It's time for a change, and we have to sit down with the Russians and many others. Look at North Korea. North Korea is developing missiles like nobody has ever seen. And we better do something rather quickly with them, hopefully through negotiation. But we better do something rather quickly with them. Russia What is, if, on, on the North Korean front, what if the North Koreans don't play ball, develop uh, a nuclear capability, go forward with their missile development? Does the United States act unilaterally? Excuse me. If, if spoken to correctly, correctly, they will play ball. Look, on another front, what happened recently where Clinton has asked uh, our trade, our so-called trade partners, to come so we can renegotiate some fairness into trade, right? They don't show up. They say we're not coming. Why would Germany show up? Why would France show up? Why would Japan show up? They've been ripping us off for years, so why would they come here? It's ridiculous. So it shows a lack of respect for the United States, where he asks for a meeting, a summit, and nobody shows. Pretty sad, Wolf. It, it, but is there something the United States should be thinking about doing as far as North Korea's potential nuclear development? Absolutely. That it's they should be thinking about it. And frankly, like if, what? Give me an example. I'll, I'll say this. You go in, you start negotiating. And if you don't stop them from doing it, you will have to take rather drastic actions. Because if you don't take them now, you're going to be in awfully big trouble in five years from now when they have more missiles than we do. We're a bunch of saps. There's no question that North Korea is developing missiles. We give them nuclear power plants. We give them tremendous aid because we thought we could bribe them into stop development. Well, they're developing. So much so that South Korea is now developing their own missile systems in order to protect. And I'm, almost, I'm, I'm really not sure I can blame them. But North Korea is totally out of control. And would you rather have a very, very serious chat with them now? And if necessary, you might have to do something fairly drastic. Or would you rather have to go after them in five years when they have more nuclear warheads and missiles than we do? When you say something fairly drastic, that sounds like you're suggesting a potential Israeli-like uh, unilateral strike against the Osirak reactor in Iraq in the, uh, in the 80s. You can never rule it out. What Israel did was fantastic, and you can never rule it out. And you know what? If you ruled it out, you couldn't talk to them. Why would they? The only thing they're afraid of is exactly what you just said. That's what they're afraid of. That's what they're concerned with. You'll most likely, with that attitude, be able to make a deal. But if you can't, you have to react. And let me tell you something. Don't react in five years, because if you react in five years, nothing's going to be left. You don't have to worry about your Social Security system anymore.